Illinois. For the Illinois Fighting Illini, will be taking on the Southern Illinois Edwardsville Cougars. I'm Peter Hansen alongside Drew Arna Poland. We'll be breaking. Turn your season around like both of these teams are. There's a line shot in the left field and it's going to get down. And that will be a stand up double for Paige Rocha. And she extends that hitting streak to round out this Cougars lineup. Certainly a lot of pop in both of these lineups too, just looking at second percentages. There is the bunt and Rocha advances over to third. And she hits that one into shallow right field. Tagging up is Paige Rocha. The throw is off the mark and the Cougars will score the first run here at Eichelberger Field. I mean, umpires, they're human beings, so. And that ball hit on the ground over to Megan Ward at shortstop. And the Illini get out of this inning, but they do give up a run. She can be patient, so just get that one more ball she needs. That one sliced into right field in the gap. Riono rounding to second, and she has a stand-up double. Donahue, Gabrielle Debevic and Serena Starks round out this lineup. Sacrifice bunt gets the runner, Riono, over to third. Hesitated to be aggressive early. And, and that pitch is hit high in the air over the is. wall. Sage Berkmeyer sends that one deep. Two run bomb puts the Illini on top by one. If that's not going to swing the momentum in Illinois' favor, I don't know what it is. Crowds into it early. Season ago has ready as she hits this one softly to third. The throw is not in time. Really close play over at first. And Mal a game that you definitely want to watch. Uh, 19 minutes in, and we already have three runs on the board. And that pitch is hit sharply into center. Megan Ward showcases a nice piece of hitting. And that pitch is hit high in the air as well. It is off the wall. And one runner will score for the Illini. Sydney Malott rounds third and makes her way home as Addison Carroll sends one off. Up there, they weren't sure if that ball was going to get caught or not out there. That ball also hit into the outfield, but caught the throw home is off the mark. So another run scores. Megan Ward at the plate scores the fourth run for the Illini. And Debevic smacks that one into left, but Jenna Heron there to make the grab. So the inning ends with the Illini up by three. So the 2-2 two, two two, two pitch under. Lauren Wiles records her out of the day. Emma Henderson slaps that one into right center. It's over the wall. Just as I was alluding to, uh, SIUE comes back with a line shot home run over the right field wall. So certainly didn't look like he had the momentum to get out of here off the bat, but the wind sort of carried it out. Emma Henderson sent the one-two pitch hit on the ground and the play made by Addison Carroll. So two outs. First out was the finisher off on the third pitch of the at-bat here. That pitch hit over to Carroll again. The throw in time. One, two, three inning for the Illini. Fire. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit high in the infield, and the play is made routinely by Kaylin Salyers. Yeah, kind of surprising that Serena Starks didn't lay off that pitch bad of the season, too. And she hits it on the ground over to short, and the play is made by Paige Rocha. 
So if you're if you're SIUE, that's certainly something in your favor. Win-loss record of one and nine. Stevie Mead hits that one on the ground to Madison Kearns, who makes the throw. So a one-two-three inning for the Cougars, and that's huge for SI. And she grounds it, but play was not made by Addison Carroll, the third base woman. We'll see how that one scored, if it's going to go down as a hit. Get extra bases and hit the ball over the wall pretty frequently. The pitch from Lauren Wiles outside. See if uh, Lauren Wiles is trying to pitch around Rocha there. Strike out if you're the Illini. There's a line shot, and it's going to get down, and looks like this is going to draw SIUE a run closer. Edit that, excuse me. Uh, it'll put runners on second and third with one out, so still a golden opportunity for looking out of the zone. Henderson hits 385 with runners in scoring position. As she lines that one into center, adds to that average. Two runs will score. Actually, the runner, Jenna Heron, held at third, originally had the sign to run home. So now a 4-3 ball game, and SIUE is within one run. Of As she shows bunt, and it looks like uh, we have a rundown between first and second, and it looks like she's going to get out of it. What's the call at the plate? She is out. Out, out so 1-1 one, one pitch. On its way to Leakey, hit on the ground, chopper, play is made. So the Illini still up after a scare here in the third. In the strike zone, so being real, so Burke Meyer is being really patient here at the plate. She hits that one hard in the air. She goes back to back. Two home runs and two at bats for Paige Burke Meyer. Yeah, as the Illini extend their lead to two runs. Yeah, certainly. That's definitely a momentum booster for this Illini squad. Uh, if you're Paige Berkmeyer, that's exactly what you wanted, uh, given the circumstances, given that SIU is drawing closer. Part of a streak of five hits from the Illini, and she will get on base again. Another single. So two singles and two at-bats. Has struck out 30 hitters in and 14 walks as Megan Ward hits that one into left, advances Malat to second, and just like that, two ducks on the pond for Illinois. Certainly a fast start in this inning for the Illini. Uh, seeing, um, uh, lowering her confidence is something that's pretty big. And the Illini will score another run. Malat crosses the plate for run number six of the day. She tries to finish her off right here. Debevic hits that one nicely into the mitt of Riley Pindell. The out is made at home, but the runner safe at first, so no run score. And DC, uh, graduate of St. John's High School. And she hits it up the middle. One more run will score for the Illini. So Illinois now up 7-3. Intended to drive in a few runs, but still a hitter's count here for Mosley. Riono hits that one into er right. Catch made in right. Runner tags, and another run will score. That was Riono, my apologies. Mosley over at first stays put. So sacrifice fly from Kelly Riono. Stevie Meads slices that one foul. Certainly a good opportunity for the Atlanta here. Yes, there's two outs, but you have runners on the corners and uh, still a golden opportunity to get some runs on the board. At three and two. Here's the three, two. Line shot. And nice play over at short. Good play by Ward to get that throw over. Looks like she had trouble getting it out of her glove. The one, two is popped up. Shallow left field, mid left field, and it is brought in by the left fielder, Mead, for the second out of the inning. You saw the center fielder, uh, Starks, out there 
knocked it down, but it fell out of her glove, and, and luckily for Kearns, she was watching the ball out there in the outfield. So. Excuse me, 0-2, as looks like the Illini are going to get a much-needed third out, and we will change that. Here comes the 2-1. That's sliced into left field. It's going to get down for a single. And certainly putting the, putting the pressure on Southern early with that single. So we'll see if they, especially given her offensive prowess today, uh, uh, getting her out here would certainly be a confidence booster as the 2-1, uh, the 1-1 is low for 2-1 and one as me. So certainly putting the pressure on Pindell. Here comes a 3-2. Swing and a miss. Huge strikeout for Pindell. I can go see if she's certainly eager to get moving here as Malat will take a walk. Runners on first and second now for team now. So given the amount of runs that have been scored, that's certainly an anomaly. And there's a ground run ball. It's dropped by the shortstop. Recovers. Gets the out at first. Never mind. She is safe. Looked like at first glance she'd be uh, after the next inning. If the Illini are up by eight, the game would end as part of the run rule. And there's a ground ball up the middle. It just squeaks by second bit, second bit base woman. SIU trying to get the ball in, but Meade will score, and we have a rundown in between first and second. And Ward is tagged out. And that is really heads up from Ward, understanding that a pickle would score the final run. The Illini scored three runs there. They will win via the runs rule. Here comes the pitch. Chopper back to Pindell, who will throw out. Throw out. On the ground, that just gets over the head of Kearns and gets into left field for a single as successful here. Yes, however, if there's one if there's one hitter up you want right now after the Cougars, it's Rocha. And the landing average speaks for itself. And there's a line shot up the middle. That's gonna most likely would have put a runner on third, but shoot as awaiting the one and no pitch. Here it comes. Shows bunt. It gets past Heron. And Shuey looked like she was going to break for third. Here's the pitch. Up the middle. Double play ball. And looks like Heron's able to beat it out. The line I. Here comes 2 1. Throw down to second. Uh, looks like she's in there safely. That'll put runners on second and third as... Risky, risky softball from both teams here. Comes a 2-1. That's slapped to the second baseman. On to first. Out at first. But the run does score. And it is now 11-4. We'll see what Leakey can do here on 2-2. We'll see if... Wiles can close her out. Here comes the pitch. Up the middle and just going to get past Ward and get into center field as another run comes in for the Cougars. And it is 11-5. to five. Here comes the pitch. And she takes a walk. So runners on first and second now for a tad bit. We'll see if she can recover, though. Here comes the first pitch. Line shot, and is it going to get over the wall? Yes, it does. A home run for Emma Henderson. Three-run shot. It is 11-8, to eight. and we got a brand-new ball game here, folks. Huge home run for the Cougars as they draw within three of the Illini. There's so much for that run rule we were talking so much yeah. about, huh? Yeah, absolutely. And it's time to settle down. She has time to settle in. She's pitched really well to start out this game. And there's a line shot right back to Wiles, who will recover and throw out Kearns at first. And we will head to the bottom half of the inning.
first at bat of the afternoon or of the evening, excuse me, and there's a line shot into short right field. It's gonna get down for a single. One at bat, one hit, she is one for one. So exactly what the doctor ordered for. Uh. Here it comes. Line shot into left field, which will be easily gobbled up by Heron. And that's unfortunate, that really was great. Plus here is Kelly Riono, who lines one into right field. That's going to get down and hit the wall. Riono's going to turn and head for second. It, well, she will stand up easily. and ha Excuse me, not. It was a sliding double. Not only does she reach does she reach second, as she's managed to find a way to get the key out she's needed. As she, as Steve <laughs> Three in the afternoon. Here's the first pitch. Line shot up the middle, and it will be caught by Shuey in center. A run does come in to score. That is that they let slip away. And there's a pop up near the track, on the track, and Shuey, the center fielder, will come down with it and snag it, and that will end the inning. One run, one run, one run scored for them. Yeah, certainly in the driver's seat now is Salyers. She has the momentum on her side with the full count. So we'll see how she approaches this next pitch. And she draws the walk. So SIUE has a base runner on. Between uh, the fifth and the sixth, which is, really, which is really promising. Slap swing into the glove of Lauren Wiles. The play is not made in time over at first. Certainly a close play. Uh, really good job by it. Salyers to beat that. Runners on first and second, no outs. Another tricky situation for Lauren Wiles. The runners go, the throw to third is there in time. Out by a mile at third is Caitlin Salyers, so. Excuse me, too confident. Hitters count for Paige Rocha. She hits that one into shallow left. The runner is being held at third, so runners on the corners. Run, try and chip away at this four run Illinois lead and that ball is hit into right. The catch is made. Tagging is the runner at third who will score. Danielle Shuey scores. Uh, Anna Henderson and Emma Henderson both transfers from Iowa, the University of Iowa and Iowa City. Double play ball, but there are already two outs, so play over, play made over at first to end the top of the sixth. SIUE gets a run. And she hits that one to the second base woman, Kaylin Salyers, who was unable to hang on in singles and a double. And she hits that one over to second. The play is made at first, so one out in the bottom of the sixth. Eileen Donahue hits that one into right field. Diving attempt is no good. Runner will score, and Donahue Stand up double. Made by the right fielder, Blumenkamp was no good. Runner will score again here. So Gabrielle Debevic hits a double as well. So back to back doubles give the Illini. Continuing to cheer on their pitcher in the circle, Riley Pindell. Starks trying to beat out the play at first, and she did. Wow. Pretty close play at first. Incredible hustle. Fumble over at first. Some more football terminology here on the broadcast. Yeah. Kelly Riono hits that one on a frozen rope into left. One run will score. Riono has a stand up double and now. Get back to her game here. Stevie Mead hits that one on the ground. A misplay from the shortstop. Another run will score. Serena Starks crosses the plate. Kelly Riono. Pindell can pull it. Can... And Bergmeier sends that one deep. <laughs> the Illini.
really treated to a good ball game today. Certainly 